what was kind of going through your head? Joe told us you, you were the first option on the end now. Yeah. What, what, what happens from there for you to end up getting the bucket? I mean, I told, like, going into the timeout, I told uh, Coach Tange, I said, give me the ball and I'm going to end it. Um, and I, I got covered on that first play, and I saw Veronica driving, and I knew they were going to help, so I just cut, and she dished it off to me. Yeah. Game. Uh, what does it take to keep shooting and keep, you know, playing with that belief that the next one's going Yeah. Uh, I mean, I just think to myself, the next one is going to go in. You got to keep being aggressive. Like, it, it, I was getting shots that I practice all the time, so I knew that eventually it was going to fall, and the coaches were telling me, and my teammates were telling me that it was going to fall eventually. So, just getting that confidence from there. Can you talk about the resiliency that the team showed down the stretch, especially yeah. in the atmosphere that they had here tonight, and with how close the game was? Yeah. I mean, I think for us, we talk a lot about being poised, um, getting into what we want to do and not letting the other team dictate to us, and that's what we did. Was there kind of a different mindset coming off of a loss, especially one like against Iowa where you guys really struggled to your yeah. motivation and your different focus level and practice? Yeah. Hundred percent. I mean, we talked about it after the game. We said we're going to wash it, learn from it, and move forward, and that's what we did. Um, we knew that this was going to be a big game for us coming off of that loss.